Hi, I'm Frankie and in this video let's look at the causes of condensation. We cause condensation in our homes just by going about our daily lives. Putting moisture in the air all the time in lots of different ways. When this moisture in the air touches a cold surface like windows or tiles, it turns back into water. This is called condensation. It creates damp patches where mould spores just love to breed. Mould can then spread into other areas of your home too and into your possessions like your furniture and clothes. And damp and mould spores can be harmful to your health. You're more likely to have respiratory problems, respiratory infections, allergies or asthma. Damp and mould can also affect the immune system so it's also important to be careful cleaning it up. I'm going to show you how to do that safely on the next video in this series. So what are the things we do at home that create all of this moisture? Firstly, there's just breathing. Everyone in your home creates moisture and pets do too. Sleeping, there can be lots of moisture in the bedroom air and in the bed after a night's sleep. Cooking, when you see steam coming out of a pot, that's moisture going into the air. Just washing up can create lots of steam too. Bathing, our showers and baths put lots of water into the air, especially long showers and hot steamy baths. Laundry, Drying clothes in the house, all the water that was in your clothes has to go somewhere, into the air. That's steam iron too. In fact, a typical family could be putting up to 6 litres of water a day into the air. That's a lot of moisture and it all has to go somewhere. If you have dampness on windows or cold walls, it's most likely to be from condensation. The type of dampness you get from condensation is more likely to create black mould than any other kind of dampness. So have a check for black mould behind furniture, curtains and clothes. And if you see any, then you've probably got condensation. It's more likely too if your home is too cold or if you're not getting enough fresh air into your home. In the next video we'll look at how to reduce condensation and get good ventilation.